All right, what's up guys? Mark Wendell here. Uh, we are out at Three Palms in Conroe, Texas, out at the GP track. Uh, Emil just mixed some clay inside the track. So it's a nice clay sand mixture and it looks it looks really good. So I'm pumped to uh, I'm pumped to see how this traction is, how uh, how the track shapes up. It looks it looks fast and smooth today. Um, just it looks fun. Um, beautiful Three Palms. Got the Cowie. I'm really, uh, really vibing with the bike. Um, I've adjusted pretty well to it from the Yamaha. And then uh, we got a new gear sponsor for 2022. Um, so I am sponsored by Sofa Gear. This stuff is absolutely sick. I got knee brace access, so there's, there's actually zippers back there. And uh, I'll just show you real quick. So this unzips and I can put my knee braces on and it has built-in compression pants. Uh, these are super high quality. Um, the jersey is a compression jersey. Um, the material super lightweight, comfortable. Um, you got this nice adjustable strap and uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand. This comes undone. We got a, a magnet right here that clips there. You can lace up your pants. Um, it's great. I love it. Um, I actually have a discount code if you want to pick up some stuff. Um, I'll leave that discount code in the description below. Um, it's great stuff. I love it. Um, so, all right, let's get geared up and let's go rip. All right, so uh, we have the GoPro Hero 10 right here on the front fender. And uh, I got the GoPro Hero 7 black on my chin. to keep in mind other than image quality is usability so the the GoPro Hero 10 it has the new uh, GP2 processor so the whole experience on the GoPro Hero 10 is uh, so much smoother um, on the Hero 7 it's really buggy like sometimes it will freeze and you have to unplug the battery which just sucks um, but the new Hero 10 with the new processor, um, I haven't heard of any bugs or freezing. Um, I haven't experienced it yet. Um, and the touch screen on the Hero 10 is a lot smoother. Um, the Hero 10 shoots in 4K 120, which is great, clear, crisp, slow motion. Um, 
for 120, I believe you had to go in 2.7K for the Hero 7. Um, and then you can also, in 2.7K on the Hero 10, do 240 frames a second. So the Hero 10 is the slow motion king 100%. up so future mark here um i have a few thoughts after looking at uh, both of the footage from the hero 7 and the 10 so number one the hero 10 handles the highlights way better than the hero 7 um the audio is better on the hero 10 um especially when it was on the front fender uh there was a lot less wind noise on the hero 10 um number three the Hero 10 has better, better stabilization. Um, I also noticed that uh, specifically on the front fender because the front fender's wobbling a lot more. Um, so yeah, I mean, obviously the Hero 10 is way better than the 7, but if you're on a tight budget, you just saw footage from the Hero 7, you can still get good footage from the Hero 7. I think you could probably find it used for like 200 bucks. Um, now, if you don't mind spending 200 more dollars, maybe three, um, get the Hero 10. It's amazing, best action camera I've ever used. It's awesome, I love it. Um, there are so much creative options that you can do with the features that it has. If you're looking for a Hero 10, get it. I, I support, it's amazing. Back to the video. All right, well that wraps up today. Uh, ton of fun. We got some rippers out here now. So yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. It really does make a difference and it helps me out. Um, plan on bringing some more videos to y'all soon. Pick you up some sofa gear and uh, have a great rest of your week. See ya.